What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been an extremely, extremely long time since I've uploaded. I think it's been like about a month, probably more than a month, and I am so sorry. I have a reasoning and I'm basically going to be talking about what's been going on in my life, give you guys an explanation, and you know, update you guys. My baby has also grown a lot from the last time y'all seen her. She is about to be four months on the fifth. Que pasa mi amor? Get the fastest? Keep us up. She's been in her mood. But she's about to be four months old. Hold on, let me see if she wants to lay down. Okay, so I went ahead and put her down. I hope she doesn't have another one of her little tantrums. Because she's being a fussy baby today. Right, Mama? Get on the contigo. Get on the. Let me get back to what I was saying. Um, I want to talk a little about postpartum depression that kind of has to do a lot with why I haven't been posting and then I do want to talk about pumping my breast, my breast, my milk supply and kind of like guide you guys through my journey and give you guys some tips and advice, you know, so, sorry if I get a little bit nervous about talking about this, it's just there's been a lot going on in my life and I don't want it to come out the wrong way or make you guys feel sorry about me or anything because that is not the case it's just kind of like bringing awareness because i know a lot of people do suffer postpartum depression and it's a real thing so i want to give you guys my side about it in order for this to make sense i want to start from the very beginning like after i had her and everything so when I had my baby, I was living with my in-laws and my boyfriend at the time. Um, I don't want to come off wrong. They are amazing people. Helped me out so much. Like I literally thank them for everything and everything that they did for me. But me personally, I just didn't feel like myself. I didn't feel good. I didn't feel like I was comfortable. I didn't feel happy like i was so stressed out i would wake up in the middle of the night going into the restroom locking myself and just crying on the rush like on the freaking toilet um i have little like moments where i just wanted to be alone i don't know why exactly like postpartum happens or why all these crazy feelings happen i think a lot of it had to do um as you guys know i did have a c-section so I felt like I couldn't do anything like getting up from the bed just to you know just to get up in the middle of the night and she'd wake up crying and then having her it was so hard um it hurt it was very painful I tried to make it seem like it didn't hurt like I could do everything I hate like I hate pity like I hate people feeling bad for me I hate people feeling like they have to take care of me and do everything so I would always like lie and say oh i'm okay i'm okay um no it doesn't hurt or this and that and i mean it did and i you know i literally felt like shit every single day that went by but i don't know i try to put like a tough face about on it it wasn't like oh my in-laws were treating me horribly or something no like they were amazing people my boyfriend was an amazing person like he is an amazing person they're still amazing people it's just me myself i did not feel like me it was different like moving from what i'm used to to a different household raising a baby i've never done that before i didn't know what to expect i didn't know what was coming my way it was just everything is so different my boyfriend was working 12 hour shifts every day wouldn't get home till 8 at night 8 or 9 p.m at night que paso mama que paso mama my boyfriend wouldn't get home till like 8 or 9 p.m at night so it was very I don't know, very overwhelming. I felt alone most of the time just because he wasn't there and me and him are so close. Um, we've been together for four years, so it felt like a void in my life, if that makes sense. So I went from being with him literally every single day, literally like we were always together, to just having him at night. But if, even then, like he come home so tired which I understand, I mean, he was working, hustling, hustling it out to support us, but him working that long and then 
by the time he got home we didn't really talk or we tried but he was so tired he'd fall asleep and then when it came to her in the middle of the night i was mostly the one waking up because he's a very heavy sleeper and i understand um you know he's tired but it was just very overwhelming because i didn't have my partner i didn't have him there with me so ugh, i don't even like talking about this but anyways um i just felt really depressed i did not like myself personally i did not like how i was feeling i felt ugly i felt like worthless like i couldn't do anything i literally felt like i don't know i felt like i had fallen into like the the worst period of my life like i did not feel like myself i did make the decision to come back home um it did leave me and my partner in a very uncomfortable situation we were arguing a lot and going through like the worst experience like it was just tough i was staying at his at his, at his house for two months i know it's not a long time and i know i probably could have given it more time but i just felt like i don't know i felt really trapped i felt like probably me coming here was a way to ease it off or to just break free if that makes sense so i have been back here at my parents house for the last two months no i'm not extremely happy i know that i like of course i don't have my partner here with me every single day he does make an effort to come during the weekdays after work but like i said he does get off really late so if he comes he's here like from 9 p.m and he'll leave like around 11 so he stays here for like two hours and on the weekends he'll come over saturday and he takes her all day sunday um you guys might ask like why doesn't he just move in with me um it's very complicated right now i'm gonna start working hopefully next week and we're trying to get our money straight like be financial financially stable so we can buy a home together so that is the goal hopefully by the, the year 2022 it will just be us three like a little family and we can move forward i am not very comfortable with change like i'm not good with change i'm so used to i mean i've been living here for literally 19 years and then decided to go over there like i don't know i'm just not comfortable with change i'm not the person i've never like slept over at anybody's house never liked it um you know growing up because my parents would never let me and just moving out and trying to get used to something completely different than what i'm used to was just very hard on me and then plus everything that's going on of course so yeah i mean that's pretty much it i wasn't comfortable with the change and then i came back home and i think i'm i think i'm okay i've been better um or i'm doing better i want to say que paso mi amor que paso i'm doing better um you know i'm getting there but speaking of like postpartum depression it does have a lot to do with my um breast milk supply and that's what i kind of want to like key point or talk about mostly so when i was over there i was making i was producing a lot of milk his mom would give me i think it's just cocoa like um like hot cocoa but not like the the packaged kind like the ones that you get from like the store if that makes sense like it's natural cocoa and we would drink that or i would drink that and i noticed that it helped me with my milk supply oh, i'm so sorry ¿Qué pasa, mi amor? i noticed that it helped me with my milk supply and every time i would drink that i'd produce a lot of milk and then i also bought these uh vitamins they is the pump princess this one i will also make sure i post a picture up here in case you can't see this and it will be in the description box down below in case you guys want to buy it this is made with organic herbs it optimizes breast milk production produces milk flow contains black cumin seed fennel fennel seed and other support supportive herbs my milk supply was very good like coming out of the hospital i was producing a lot of milk i was already storing milk inside the freezer but I want to say a couple weeks and i saw my milk go down and i think it has to do a lot of like a lot about like how the way i was feeling and dealing with my emotions and it is true like if you are very sad and like aren't in the best um like shape or form your milk does start to go down so i did everything i took supplements i would 
um, drink water like crazy. I would drink hot cocoa. I would um, drink body armor. Like I did whatever I could. Um, and then also I did like pumping sessions a lot. Back then I had the the one that you connect to the wall and then you have to hold. But I found that super like oh tedious like it was just so much work having to do that back and forth and then having to wash all those freaking parts like it was just a lot of work and it was not for me like i already felt like shit most of the time and i would like you know it was just a lot but m what i did for breastfeeding i would ¿Qué pasó, mi amor? so like i was saying um even in the middle of the night, like, I would pump so often. She would wake up, like, twice or three times in the middle of the night. And I, what I would do is I'd go ahead and feed her. And if I felt that it was still, like, I still had milk in there, I would go ahead and pump right after. It's because I heard that if you empty out your breast every single time, it kind of, like, signals to make more milk. So every time you're empty emptying them it's going ahead and like making more so you will constantly have milk if that makes sense so like if you're pumping often and often you will make more milk compared to if you choose to just exclusively like breastfeed your body kind of gets like used to that schedule so like if i were to just breastfeed her every three hours then i'm only gonna make enough milk for those every three hours but if i'm breastfeeding and then throwing in a pumping session you know like kind of alternating and including a lot of sessions then my body's gonna know okay like make more milk make more milk i mean you don't have to like i'm not saying like you have to make a lot of milk or you could just stick to you know doing that but i like it especially um because i'm creating a stash for when i am not home and when i'm working so i have enough milk in the freezer for her when so like my mom or um my boyfriend like when he has her like or his family they can easily just thaw it out and then feed her like bottle feed her um she does bottle feed the bottles that i've seen that she likes the most are the event bottles and then the also the komotomo bottles so that's what i use on her oh, when it comes to like pumping since i did say that i stopped using the other pump i do use this pump from mom cozy I did post it on my TikTok, so if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, that'll be also down below in the description box. But it's very complicated, or at least I, this was complicated at first, but it comes with a bunch of parts. So like, oh, I don't even want to go into much into detail about it because you can find it on their page and it'll talk about it. And then also I talked about it on my TikTok. So um, let me kind of just assemble it. I still need to rinse it. It's already rinsed, but I need to rinse it again. And then it goes in here. And then it has like the suction thingy. I don't even know where the hell is that. Where the heck is that? Oh, okay. So I can't find it. So I'm not going to really like plug it. But it comes with this thing that you put right here. And then it has different like levels. So you put it right here. I put it inside my bra and it does it for you. I find this so helpful so helpful because like i told you i would wake up in the middle of the night to pump and having to like use the one that you have to hold when you're half asleep was the worst this one literally i'll put it on me i kind of like sit up and i'll honestly like i literally find myself falling asleep and i'll close my eyes at nighttime she feeds on one side so i'll just go ahead and pump the other side if that makes sense i don't pump both say i'm just pumping like i haven't breastfed or anything so my boobs are extremely full like when he takes her on sundays i have to pump like i i think i probably pump like five times that day and what i do i put one of these in here and then i put the other one on this boob and then whatever like ends up falling because you know you leak it catches in here and then i'll go ahead and put this in the bag i store it in these breast milk storage bags this is the target brand i think or like the cheapest pack that i found at target i don't really find a difference in the bags that you use i have tried different bags what i saw from the other ones is that they would stand up like if you wanted to keep them in the freezer or wherever standing up then that's what those do but these are a little bit flimsy let me go ahead and show you so they don't stand up in the fridge but i don't really mind that because i just label them i it has a bunch of options it has the date volume name and time all i put is the date 
and the volume that it has and then i'll go ahead and fill it up and then i lay them flat like this in the freezer this okay i've been drinking body armor like crazy like literally i drink about three to four of these a day i found out this actually helps me out a lot and plus don't like just drink this and think that's like the way to go drink a lot of water too i do drink a lot of water too if i'm not drinking one of these i'm drinking a water bottle or whatever i always have liquid like something around me this is good because it has like the coconut water apparently coconut water is super good for you and then the electrolytes so it keeps you hydrated you have to be hydrated hydrated enough to produce milk if you are not hydrated you will not produce milk i get the light version just because it has less sugar and then the flavors are actually really good it comes with a berry uh peach mango watermelon and what's the other one it comes with another flavor, which I do not remember. The one that I do not like is the watermelon one. That one's a little nasty. I don't, I don't know. I don't really mess with that. I thought it was going to be my favorite. My favorite is the berry punch. I love this one so much. And oatmeal. I eat oatmeal, like, literally every single day. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's not like the instant oatmeal. Don't use instant oatmeal. It's the Quaker Quaker oatmeal. I'll go ahead and put a picture right here for you guys. But that's the oatmeal that I use. I mean, I think that's pretty much it with my journey. I do want to say it was a hassle. Breastfeeding in the beginning, like, dude, let me tell you, it was the worst for me. I would literally cry. Like, that's how bad it was for me. I bled one time my boobs or my nipples. My nipples got really blistered. I think it had a lot to do with her latch. She had a very like small mouth to begin with i did use nipple shields while she was breastfeeding at the beginning so that actually did help a lot and then i also used the lan lanolin lanolin cream to help with my sore um and blistered nipples but i haven't used that in a hot minute i still have like the freaking tube i have not touched it in forever um she feeds very easily it's super like it doesn't bother me at all i mean that's pretty much all i have to say i do want to say i'm sorry for not posting so much i know i've been so bad at it over here trying to be a freaking youtuber but don't even post like i'm so sorry <laughs> um it's just like i said there's been a lot going on my first initial thought isn't like hey pick up a camera and like make a video or like record like your activities you know do that like be active hopefully it gets better hopefully i get back on track i'm trying to like get better i feel like working like when i start working it's gonna help me find myself a lot more just because i'll get like some time to myself i think i answered everything about my breastfeeding journey i don't want to say my crazy amount of milk um because i don't i see people that make like 90 to 100 ounces a day and when i i did download an app i forgot what it was called because i deleted it but i used to log my milk on there when i saw that my milk was decreasing like when i moved from houses my milk was crazy low like i kid you every time like i would pump i would get like an ounce or two like it was super low so i started logging my milk supply and i would literally wake up in the middle of the night pump i would pump like i literally pumped so many times i think i pumped like a total six times a day plus feeding her just so i can get my milk supply back up and when i was tracking it i saw that i pumped out i think my highest was 40 ounces a day plus breastfeeding her but i see people that make like 90 ounces a day and i'm like girl how do you make so much milk like how i wish and i do so much like i'm literally constantly doing so much to try and build it up but it's hard it's hard it's super hard if you have any questions like i said feel free to leave those down below i'm gonna try and get back on my game and post every so often because i miss talking to you guys and i miss recording and i've just been slacking but make sure you guys also follow me on my social media i do have an instagram which i have not been posting in a hot minute and i do have tiktok which i have not been posting in a hot minute oh, but i will go ahead and leave those down below and i'll try and get active again on social media all throughout hope you guys do enjoy this video and i will see you guys next week hopefully if i don't forget make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed we'll catch you guys next week <laughs> bye